For a browser that used to cost 20 bucks a month, you must have sure thought that it's a huge gift to society from perplexity when they announced this week that their AI-powered browser, Comet, is now free to use for everyone. But is this browser even worth your attention? Or is it another new browser, which is essentially Chrome, but now has some extensions built in? This video covers everything that's worth noting. So let's get into it. Let's be honest, we've heard this pitch before. A new browser shows up, promises to reinvent the internet, and claims you'll never browse the same way again. This week, that browser is Comet, built by Perplexity, the same AI search startup that's been taking shots at Google all year. And the headline sounds huge. Comet is now free for everyone. Free, AI powered, Chrome compatible. Your sidecar assistant that travels the web with you. Sounds like the future of browsing, right? Yeah, until you actually use it. At first, the pitch feels exciting. Comet isn't just a website with an AI chat box tacked on. It's a full browser based on Chromium, like Chrome or Edge or Arc. It has all the usual comforts, bookmarks, extensions, tabs, history, the works, except here, the AI rides shotgun. That's the part perplexity keeps highlighting, the sidecar assistant. It sits in a permanent sidebar that you can call on anywhere. You can ask it questions have it summarize an article, extract quotes, translate a page, or follow a link on your behalf. They call it a research co-pilot. You don't have to copy and paste text anymore. You just ask, and the AI reads and summarizes in real time. And it actually works pretty well. It's fast, clean, and integrated in a way that feels surprisingly smooth. No plugins, no pop-ups, no endless redirects. For a few minutes, it feels like this really could change how you browse. But then, after the novelty fades, you realize what Comet really is. Chrome with a talking extension. There's no new engine here, no radical redesign of how you interact with the web. It's just Chrome's skeleton, dressed in Perplexity's coat of paint. The free version gives you that side panel, and that's about it. No autonomous actions, no automation, no deep customization. You can summarize pages, extract data, and maybe make yourself feel productive while reading Reddit. But let's be honest, you could do that already with a ChatGPT tab or a few browser extensions. Comet isn't rewriting how you browse. It's just centralizing what a lot of us already do. Chat, search, and summarize in one place. That's not innovation, that's packaging. Now, to be fair, Perplexity didn't stop at the free tier. There's a premium version, Pro and Max. And this is where things start to sound more interesting. Max users get access to an email assistant, which you can literally CC on an email thread. You write to someone, C, C, the A, I and it drafts a reply, schedules things, even executes inbox tasks. And then there's the new background assistant, the big selling point for power users. This feature lets you run multiple AI tasks at once in the background while you continue browsing. You could have it compare flight prices, summarize PDFs, monitor stock tickers, draft an email and research gear for your next video shoot all simultaneously. On paper, that sounds incredible, but the catch? these tools live behind a paywall. For free users, Comet isn't AI-powered productivity. It's a demo reel for the stuff you don't get. You get the Chrome level experience, a shiny sidebar, and some very convincing marketing. And here's where the narrative cracks. Perplexity is positioning Comet as a true Chrome rival, not an add-on. They talk about it like it's a fundamental shift, AI that travels the web with you. But what they've really built is a browser that acts like Chrome looks like Chrome, and mostly is Chrome, just with the perplexity bot stapled to the window. And the question becomes, do we really need another browser claiming to be revolutionary when under the hood, it's just Chrome in a new outfit? Now, that doesn't mean Comet's useless. In fact, if you do a lot of reading, research, or summarizing, it's actually a pretty convenient upgrade. Having a contextual AI in browser saves a few clicks and feels smoother than juggling tabs. But for most users, especially at the free tier, this AI revolution boils down to fewer keyboard shortcuts and a fancier UI. If you already use Chrome with Perplexity, ChatGPT, or Arc's Browse for Me mode, you're not getting anything truly new. The same tasks, the same AI summarization, just slightly better integrated. And the background assistant, it sounds magical, but think about what it's actually doing. It's just running multiple queries at once, something we could already do in separate tabs. The difference is, now it reports progress, like a task manager, making you feel like you're running a futuristic control center. It's clever marketing, not a technical revolution. And if you're just here for A, I summaries and chat in your browser, you don't even need a new browser for that. A few solid extensions can already do 90% of what Comet's free tier offers. Try Cider, which gives you chat GPT, Claude, or Gemini in a collapsible sidebar inside Chrome. You can ask questions about any page, 
summarize articles, or continue conversations as you browse. Or Storytel, which reads an entire web page. Ask it to explain sections, list takeaways, or pull data. If you want something privacy focused, Page Assist works locally and lets you run your own models without sending everything to the cloud. Even Pixie Bricks's ChatGPT sidebar lets you stick a live AI assistant inside your browser with customizable shortcuts. All of these live, where you already browse. No new interface, no switching browsers, and no marketing fluff about reinventing the internet. So when Perplexity says Comet will change the way you browse, the honest translation might be. It'll bundle what extensions have done for years, just with better branding. And that's the biggest story here. Every few months, we see a new AI browser launch. Arc, Opera's AI mode, now Comet, and all of them promise to transform how you use the web. But instead of giving you new ways to think or create, they mostly give you new ways to stay inside their ecosystem. Because at the end of the day, this isn't about helping you browse smarter. It's about making sure you browse through them. If perplexity eventually turns Comet into something agentic, like truly letting it act on your behalf, automate workflows, and integrate seamlessly with apps, then maybe it becomes a real productivity layer. But right now, for most people, it's still Chrome with a mascot. You can summarize pages. Sure, you can chat with your browser, but so can half the extensions on the Chrome Web Store. So yeah, it's neat, but it's not the revolution it claims to be. Because the truth is, browsing doesn't need another assistant whispering in the sidebar. It needs new ideas, ways to make the web feel less like a playground for attention and more like a tool for thought. And until someone figures that out, all these AI browsers, Comet included, will just keep orbiting around the same old Chrome core pretending to be the future.